Corp, but I think Corp, Corp, like Cosmos is just he's he's a wizard. Like he knows something we don't. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Yeah, some characters or some players just have that like character pass where like they can make that one character work, but no one else can. Yeah. And I think um, Inkling is on the fence for me, but like I see where you're coming from. Cosmos is a wizard, but Pichu was definitely well into that territory. For I feel me. that. Yeah. I feel bad for certain people that like. I don't know about you, but usually in Smash games, I can play like one character well, and like I've been that way in the past. But now with this wobbling thing, it's like Icy's players that only like Icy's and Melee. I don't know. That's a that's a conversation for a different stream. Let's yeah. start it off. Tension against Ronin on PS2. We're going with the Fox on this one. And that's brave because I've heard so many Foxes say that Pichu and Pikachu eat this character All alive. Yeah. yeah. Because Pichu honestly has some of the best edge guarding in the game because that recovery, granted it has no hitbox, but it goes forever. Yeah. Have to see if Tension can figure it out. Look at that, he got all that damage and then pressure after that. That's why Pichu is considered so strong because he can just keep on putting on pressure unrelentingly. But then if you hit him, he's actually made out of paper. Basically, yeah. He's at death percent. It feels so bad until you up smash him at like 50. And then it's like, oh, okay, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Gets the side B, gets the get up attack right now, both at about 85%. And yeah, he's definitely a death percent, but tension's gonna have to land this hit and like back air's gonna be tough because Pichu's so tiny. Up smash is tough because he's so tiny. And he can't even like nair up smash anymore because right. he's so light. Yeah, yeah, and there's a tech see? chase now. Like, he goes so far. Oh, gosh, that's hard. Yeah. He's one of those characters that if you miss your window, killing him becomes way harder than it feasibly should. That should yeah. be a punish, yeah. Finally, there we go. And it looked like Ronan was just kind of smashing the C-stick on that one. Tension, of course, the veteran that he is is going to wait. Punish that. Back throw is going to go off, but it's not enough to kill. 142 at the ledge, but he's going to get zapped. And I, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure Pichu can angle that, so he can poke a little bit below the ledge and just kind of catch any fox that tries to side beat. All right, that, he's going to get opened up by an aerial. And look at Ronan with that spacing. He's trying to stick to him again. Force intention to air dodge a couple times, and no matter how you air dodge, you're still not safe. Yeah. There's really nowhere to go against a character, really against either of these characters, just because they're so fast. See the forward throw, 103, gonna throw out the Thunder Jolt. I like that coverage, but he doesn't follow up on the edge guard. They're going through the Thunder Jolt. Oh, wow, that was unfortunate. Yeah, it was unfortunate, but I think it gave tension. Oh, no, you can't go for those that deep because now you lost all that stage control and your recovery still doesn't have a hitbox. That was super good by tension, though, to drop that low. He hit the fastball to go super low. He was able to survive there. Now we're in this situation again. Ronan has to keep his stocks longer because, as funny as it sounds, if he can survive longer on Pichu and get the stock off first, I think he's going to be in a lot better position because right now Tension is getting the stock off first and he's just getting this gravy percent. Yeah, and that's something that Pichu can't afford to be hit with because at this point, I'm not even joking, he could probably die around 60. He's like one neared up smash away. This character, oh my god, if I hit, he would have right. died. Yeah, he actually would have died. Oh, he's doing it again. He's too little. He's way too little. Nair, he can't, yeah, look at that. Any other character, that might have done it. Oh, but that time, Tension dropping Surprising Punish. Normally, his reaction time is fast enough where he can get that. Yep. And Ronin is tech rolling away consistently. I wonder if, um, if Tension hard commits to that, maybe he can get something. Because if he wasn't able to commit, now the stocks are even, and now Pichu can make this happen in one hit. Yeah, this is a little scary for Tension, just because something like this could happen. Right now, 29%. Ronan does not cover the air dodge, unfortunately, but he still gets on a lot of percent. And if Tension ever finds himself off stage, he's in a world of trouble, especially if he's below the ledge. Weird skull bash there. I feel like that wasn't intentional, but he got away with it. But what if it was? Okay, that back air was really clean, but still alive, 131%. Will Tension go out there? No, he won't. Now Pichu has another chance to go in. Those Thunder Jolts do so much damage, so he can't even afford to take a couple of those. Yep. I think each one like does 12 fresh or something ridiculous. First time I played this character, I actually looked at it and got mad at how much damage I took off. The I know, right? Bolt. <laughs> yeah, when I got hit by like the bolt and I took like 10, I was like, that's not fair. Yeah. What? You can just do that. What is happening? Whoosh, there we go. Hits the snow. Good forward smash there from Tension reading that normal get up. Ronan showing signs of life, looking like he might have been able to take that, but it was not today. Yeah.
With how explosive both these characters are, anything is on the table, though. Yes. I feel like a three to one or three stock to one stock comeback is definitely on the table. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it next game. Yeah, I think he's going to stick with the fox. Yeah, we're not going to peach you. It's kind of cute that they're right next to each other. Yeah. It's adorable. Best friends forever. Big friends. All right, so next game on this. Interesting to see the counter pick. Looks like it is Town and City. Okay, I can't tell until it zooms out. I'm like, wait, I know it's Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's sometimes going to be tough. Oh man, speaking of tough, that string at the beginning taking 49% right off the bat on the lightest character in the game. Yeah. That's tough. Even, like, Fox can combo anybody back. It could be harder to get the kill, as we talked about before, in terms of, like, Nair up smash, but as you can see Pichu getting a few combos of his own. Oh. Damn, that throw does that right? much? Yeah, <laughs> it's actually, sometimes Pichu's damage output is absurd. I never, like, realized that. Jeez. Like, when you actually look at the numbers and the, like, because you know how electric moves are a bit safer on shield? Yeah. Like, Pichu's forward tilt on shield is actually really Yes, cool. yeah. I will admit, this character has some wild things, but that weight ain't one of them. Yeah. I feel like Pichu feels to me, like, I know a lot of people throw out the term, like, DLC character, DLC character, but Pichu feels like one of those, like, extreme cases of a DLC character where they're like, okay, you're like Little Mac. Yeah. Like, you're awful in the air, but you're going to body everybody on the ground. It's like, okay, Pichu, you do insane amounts of damage, but you die at 50. He feels like an experiment. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of interesting. One of those, I always say he's one of those characters who's like a fighting game archetype that needs to be in this game. Yeah. Like that. Like that was, if you play Street Fighter 4, that was Seth. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're actually slapping him up, and then you get hit by like one, like, hard punch, counter hit hard punch. And it's like, oh, wait. Yeah. Where's my health? Him and K. Rool. Two sides of the same coin. I yeah. Think. Except K. Rool's way worse. I told you. I, didn't I told say everybody. No, I told you. Oh, I didn't say he was good. J Dog was like, "Oh no, K. Rool is going to be top 15. I'm when sure did he is." No, that? you definitely said what? it. What? <laughs> he didn't actually say it. This is slander. 88 <laughs> percent. Oh, we tried to hit the whoosh. He really wants that illusion into something, or at least I, I guess he's doing it for like, because if he hits it, it might be a kill. And even if he doesn't get anything, he gets stage control down. You know? And yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. And the reason that he keeps on going for it is because Pichu, at that percent, the risk reward is totally in your favor. You yes. can do 